Let's start with the chapter demography. This chapter belongs to the branch statistics. So let's begin with the very first module that is introduction to demography and vital statistics. Yes, we would first be very much interested to know what does demography mean? Demography comes from two Greek words. The first word is demos. The meaning of this word in Greek is people. The next word is graphos. Now, the meaning of this word in Greek is to measure, to draw or to write something about people. So what does demography mean? So demography means to write or to measure something about people. So what is that something which we are measuring about people in demography? Yes, when I have a group of individuals, what I would like to know about that group? What I would like to know about those people? I would like to know the size, size of the group, that is the size of my population. Next, once I know the size, I would also be interested to know the composition of my group. Now, composition means the sex distribution or the male-female ratio in my population. Knowing the size, the composition, I would like to know the structure of my population. By structure, I mean it is the age-wise distribution in my population. That is, how many people belong to school-going kids, how many belong to adult group, how many belong to senior citizen group, and so on. Lastly, I would also like to measure the dynamics of my population. By dynamics, we mean the distribution in my population based on other parameters like income, location, and so on. So, in demography, these are the various aspects which we are going to measure about our population. Now, the question arises, how are we going to measure this? Yes, we need to measure this by measuring the various aspects in the life of people. In the life of an individual, lot many events or lot many milestones occur. Once we start to measure those milestones, we will be able to measure the various aspects of demography. Okay, so let's see the various aspects in the life of individual. The first one being birth. Yes, definitely first we are born, that is when our life begins. And the last one being death. Yes, once we are born, we definitely have to die. But in between birth and death, there are a lot many events which happen in our life. One of them being marriage. Then sometimes unforeseen events happen and we have to undergo through divorce. The other aspect that is very important to the life of individual is migration. Yes, people do migrate, right? For career, for health reasons, to various countries, to various cities. So, these are the five very important events in the life of an individual and they are called as vital events. We measure these events, that is, we collect statistical information about these events and that statistical information is called as vital statistics. So, when we are able to measure the vital statistics, we are able to measure the various aspects of our demography or population, which is size, structure, composition and so on. Now, once we know what are vital events, what is vital statistics, Let's go ahead and look at what are the uses of these vital events. Let's look at them. The very first vital event was birth. How do we measure or how do we record birth? We have a very important document called birth certificate. That is how we measure or record birth. Now, how is this document used? How does, what does it tell you? It tells us the date of birth, the place of birth, the citizenship of the person born, right? Similarly, death is also recorded with the help of death certificate. This certificate has lot of legal importance. It helps you to claim the payments from insurance companies. It is also important to claim pension benefits. It is also important for distribution of property among relatives once a person dies. So these are the legal uses of death certificate. Similarly, we can record marriage with the help of marriage certificate. This certificate also has legal importance. Now, this certificate proves your right to family pension benefits 
and also your right to job benefits. Apart from these three, vital statistics are used in businesses. Now, how do businesses use vital statistics? They decide the nature of business, the type of business, the location of business based on vital statistics. Vital statistics are also used in life tables. What are these tables? These tables are based on mortality rates. Mortality rate means death rate. And they are used by insurance companies. Insurance companies use these tables to decide the premiums of various insurance schemes. These being the very important uses of vital statistics, let's look at the last but not the least, that is welfare activities. How is vital statistics used in welfare activities? Yes, government, various social organizations, they use vital statistics to decide social security schemes for senior citizens, welfare schemes for children, for kids, for women, for infants and so on. So these are the very important uses of vital statistics. In this chapter, we saw how demography is measured, that is size, structure, composition is measured with the help of vital statistics.